In my last video, I showed you how I write my lead sheets. They look like this. And I got several questions from you guys, um, how to set up the template in pages for Mac, which I'm using here. So today I will show you. So here we are at the screen and we are going to start pages here. This is the screen, what you get, and it shows you the last folder and all the content, which is uh, in the folder, but we are going to choose new document. And you can see here on my pages, I have a template file, which is called Sheets, which I usually, usually open when I uh, write new lead sheets. And I will open it now just to have it side by side. Let's put it to the left hand side, align it here on the screen like this and reduce the zoom a little that we can see the document. Then we are going to create another document and this one will be your new uh, template document. So we are opening up a blank sheet and this is what you get white paper and what we are going to do first of all is change some document settings which you can find here on the top right hand corner. I set up my lead sheets to size A5 which is similar to the tablet size I have on stage and at this point we are going to remove the footer we will remove the header later on. If we keep it in, it's a little easier to work with the table at this point. And we are setting the document margins to zero that the table is filling up the whole page like I have it here on my template. And I think that's all for the document settings. Now we are switch over to format tab here. And we are going to create a table, which is the very first one as a template here. And we are going to format it a little. So first of all, remove these two columns here and align the size a little bit here. Now we are going to select everything and turning off the alt turning row color here. So everything can be shown in white. Now we only need to go to cell and select the fill type of the cells to no fill. So everything becomes a white color. Now we are going to insert the title of the, of the lead sheet, which is in this case test lead sheet. Or let's rename it to template because we are going to create a template right now. And what we are doing now, we're going to the text here and we are going to delete all these paragraph styles because that's too much. We want to create our own. So on this small arrow here, we are going to delete style. This is a A little complicated here. So if everybody, if anybody knows how to delete several styles at one time, please let me know and let the community know in the comments below. Just, we need to keep one, of course. So just let's stay with caption here. We will delete it afterwards. once we have our own styles here. Last one to be deleted right now. Okay. So far so good. Now we're going to create a new style, which is called the uh, title. This one. Let's select it for both cells title. And now we're going to change the font, which is Avenir Next. In my case, I really like this font. It's easy to read on stage, very clear font. Make the size to 17. 
and we are going to color the cell, the title cell, with some kind of gray. I'm not sure if this is saved within the styles here, but let's check it. So we have marked this cell where we have the formatted text here. When we just click here, update now. And as you can see, the cell is cutted here. This is uh, due to the reason that Pages uses the very first cell, so the left-hand cell here, for this option, um, resize rows to fit cell contents. Which means if we choose this cell and change the text to title, it should change, but it does not. So let's just make some a letter in here. It's not changing anything, so I will check it. I will pause the video and come back to you. So I'm back. I did not find a failure, but I, I solved it somehow. Uh, magic. I saved the document, closed pages and opened it up again. And now it seems to work. It does not cut anymore the letters on the bottom here. And this also means I was wrong with the point that this auto fit of the cells is depending on the very first row. It is not, it seems to be a bug and I hope it will be fixed within the next update. So if I now select here, the new style I have just created, it does not cut anymore the text. So nevertheless, we are going to rename this style now. I don't know if we already did it. Anyway, I do it again now to our title. And it does not happen. Why? Now it, uh, okay, I know, of course, because we have a title already here. Let's delete this one first and rename it to title. I expected normally uh, some kind of error message for this, but anyway, we have it solved now for the title name here. And what we are doing next is copy this one and paste it to the cell below. Now we remove the fill to no fill and we have some kind of first row here for our intro. So I write the short name here which is this ENT for my dictionary in my head which stays for intro and now we are going to recolor this one to blue and also this one here for blue and of course we could write here some bars so actually this is one cadency for for me it's so uh, in, in this case okay let, let's write a real cadency here C, G, A, and back to D, which makes the cadency uh, complete. It could be eight bars, of course, or whatever. So let's have it at, uh, at this, uh, for this point. And now we're going to create a new style, which is called intro. And of course we need to activate it because currently it's still on title and now we activate for intro also the, the shortcut here and now we have saved our first style as intro. We're going to copy this one to the next line which will be the verse. So we write our our naming here and the chords. I, I will delete the chords because it will be a template document and you don't want to delete every time you uh, create a new template. Simply make the color to black. Then we are going to create a new style which is verse and we activate it for this line. And there we go. Then, then we're doing the same here. Name it to chorus. And 
changing the color to red, which is usually the color for chorus in my lead sheets. And it's all the way through all my sheets, it's, it's uh, the same color. So every time the singer um, shows a part of the song, then I know to which color I need to jump to not miss the very first chord of this cadency, which is the most important to have it right. And of course, we are going to create a new style. Oops. Name it Chorus, and we are doing the same again. Copy, paste, and what we have here, usually we have the verse again, so we can copy the verse here. We are adding some more rows, and usually there comes a second chorus, and then we have the bridge, which is this one. Change the color to the color you like. In my sheets, it is green. Now create a new style bridge and move it below chorus just to have the order correct and we need to activate it for this line and usually after the bridge there is another chorus uh, sometimes we have a different chorus with some changes to the normal chorus which is in my sheets the chorus 2 and I have it in a dark red. Then let's create a style for it. Chorus 2. Chorus 2. And activate it for this line. And to end the song, usually we have another chorus. Um, and what I do in my lead sheets, I explained in the video before. I al always do write one part of the song only one time on the sheet. So it means if the verse here for the instrument I'm playing is the same, I do not write it here again. I just delete it and the same for the chorus. So I expect chorus and verse are similar to the ones we already had. Chorus 2 is different, of course, so I leave the, the bars here and delete it in the chorus. and. Sometimes the verse is a little shorter than the first verse. So what I do here, I I write down, I only play it one time. So usually um, if the verse or is if this cadency is played several times, I write here, for example, four times. And then here we don't have one time, but we have two times maybe. And for these markings, I also create a nice color, which is this yellow here, that it pops up on stage that I'm not playing the verse when the band changes to the chorus. And we are going to create a new style here, which names repeat. And we can just go into the verse here, mark the, the paragraph here, the line, and change to repeat and it will automatically change the color. And um, what I also do is uh, I write some notes. So it happens in my case that uh, I play a song one time in a year and after two years it's played again in another band. And I have the chords, but what do I play here? So uh, I make some notes, for example, piano, head, chords, and this one, these notes will have a gray color and its size is 10. Um, and now I can create a new style which calls note, enter, and you see it already changed the whole paragraph, so the, the whole line to this style. Um, and I think that's all. And this is uh, the really strong feature of these styles. I just delete this road, rows here. So if the chorus, the last chorus is um, played three times, I can write it here. I can make a paragraph um, ending only piano, chords, 
like this and I do not fiddle around, do not need to, to fiddle around here with these font styles and size. I just mark this one, repeat and mark the, the notes and just click notes and it's formatted perfectly. Um, so of course, of course, this is a template document. Now we are going to lead to delete these notes because they will be different for the song. You will <laughs> learn the next, of course, as usually. And to have it nice formatted, we're going back to document now. We're going to delete the header. So the sheet is really nice aligned to your paper. Let's move the title to the middle and update the title style to be very clean here. This note will be deleted. And um, I think that's all for the template. Now the important part, how you get it on the starting screen of pages, just activate the document, file, save as template. And now you can save it uh, with this gray button to place it somewhere on your file system. But we want to have it as the, uh, in the template chooser. So we click the, the orange sign here and it will show you in my templates. You can rename it here like template lead sheet. And, uh, and simply press create. And there you go. Now you can close all these documents here and close pages. And now let's check. We open up pages and we see the folder again. We need to click now new document and we need to click here to my templates. And it seems like I did not properly rename the template. I'm pretty sure this is the one we have just created. So we can rename it here. Template lead sheet. Now it's renamed. Let's create a document with this one. And there we have it. And if we click here, chorus, for example, like two repeats, go to text, change it to repeats. And as you can see, all the, all the titles, uh, all the styles are saved here. What is important, I want to show you. Um, let's just delete this one. If you create any new document now, or let's say if you open up an old document, let's just do it like this. Let's check an, an old, an old lead sheet from, from my lead sheets here. I have it as a list, date added. Now we can go back to my very first pages lead sheets. So there you can see I have a, a word lead sheet here. And from, the, from there I change to pages. So let's just open up my very first pages document. It looks like this, uh, very similar. Um, I have improved it over time, of course. But if we check here, the styles, I did not set up the styles. And even if I set it up now, it's only available for new documents you use with these templates where you have created the styles. Means the styles are saved within the document. I just want to let you know about this. And I think that's all. Have fun.